What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG. Today we're going to look at how to customize the WooCommerce order confirmation emails without editing code. Um, you know, of course, that you can edit some parts of the emails by going to WooCommerce settings and clicking emails and clicking you know, let's say the processing order email, for example, you know, you can only edit like the heading and the subject, but how can you edit, you know, like the whole template file of the processing order email without coding? I have another video that I will put somewhere up here where um, I talk through how to do it, like by edit editing code, but it seems like a lot of people want an easier way to do that so that's what i'm doing here today and with that said we're going to be using the automate woo plugin and i'll also put that in the description box below and let's just get to it because i know you guys probably want to see an example so i'm just going to go to automate woo real quick and i'm going to go to workflows and i just want to show you how easy it is to replace all your woocommerce emails with automate woo if you guys wanted to add like custom text add you know, extra columns, add a bunch of different stuff like related products, add a button for view order, etc. So I'm just going to call this like WooCommerce processing and order email. And I'm going to do a trigger right now. When order is processing, send this email to the customer, right? So the other cool thing about Automate Woo, and there's a lot of other functions than just, you know, sending emails, but basically it just does stuff to automate woo so I can add rules like maybe you only want to do this if for a specific customers email maybe if they you know purchased a specific item or if they you know are from a specific country you want to trigger this for now we're not gonna we don't have any rules this is just gonna be our default processing order email and I can easily add an action and I want to say I want to send an email and there's a bunch of different ways we can send this email, right? I could use Rye HTML. This is gonna look like the, exactly like the default WooCommerce email, like right here. This is what my currently, my processing order email looks like. It's gonna inherit all these same like um, logo, um, colors, etc. So I'm gonna send an email and they have these short codes. So I'm just gonna go customer email. I'm gonna copy it. And then subject, you know, your order is processing. And then, you know, thank you for shopping with us. And then I want to use the WooCommerce default template. And then I want to say, hi, give me a customer first name. And if they don't have a customer first name, I can have a fallback. So I could say hi there instead of customer first name. And I'm just going to paste this in and let's see what the default is right now. Just to let you know, we have received order number and then I can go down and get this order number. And then it looks like they're adding this order table. So I can just go to order items, which is pretty handy. And I just wanna do the order table, cool. And then below that, right now I'm just working on, I just wanna match it um, as much as we can and then we can work backwards. And then I think there's order customer details. Cool, I can add that. And then what is the end date of this? You know, thanks for using, and I can put, you know, shop URL. Cool. So I am just going to uh, make this transactional because this is not a marketing email and I'm gonna save it and it's gonna run automatically when an order is processing. So I can just preview this email right now. And as you can see, looks pretty similar to this order processing email right here. Now, let's say I wanted to take this a step further. Obviously this isn't, needs to be linked, but let's just, we'll just say we wanna take this a step further because this is this screenshot right here is what the default is right now with WooCommerce. 
let's say related products, boom. Let's just go related products. Um, there could be something where I don't have cross sales for specific products set up. So let's just do order related products real quick. And thank you for bearing with me. Um, and, and as you can see, I added this related products and it's, you know, it's showing both related products of, you know, this product. And as you can see, I just easily added that to the email. And let's say I also wanted to add a view order button. So I just want to add a view order button. So I'm going to go order view URL, right? So let me just paste this right here. And I'm gonna save this one more time and then I'm gonna preview it. And you can see, we can view the order, that's cool, right? But what we wanna do is we wanna add like a button. So what you would do is you would click this text tab and we can easily add a button by adding a class equals automate woo button and then view order URL we're gonna actually make this href that's gonna be the link and then view order okay let's save this one more time and we have the view order button right And we have just view order, okay? And you go, well, where's that button? So I just need to make sure. Here we go. So it's automate woo button, button large, okay. Now let's see if this wants to show up. And we save this. And boom, we have our view order button. So you can add this button to go, you know, basically anywhere. Um, but we easily added this button. I could even come down and I could, you know, center this button, save it, and then re preview it. Uh, and boom, it's centered, right? And now let's say for these related products, I want to do three related products instead of two. Let's see what that does. So it had three. Maybe I need to have, um, if I go back to this related products, I can go back to this three column. I can do three. And let's go like this. So this one's the one that I just did. It's gonna be a three column because the default is a two column. Let's see what this looks like. Boom, so we have three related products. So there's so many ways you can take this. Um, you can, you know, really, you know, go to all your WooCommerce default emails and I can, you know, just go to this processing order email and I would recommend testing this, but you can just turn this off once you've turned on the automate woo one right here. And now this will be your processing order email. You can make so many customizations. You can make customizations if, you know, they buy a specific product, you know, if they've spent a specific amount of money, you can use this for, you know, let's say the order includes I can search products, you know, if it includes the coffee grinder, I want to send only this email. Like there's so many ways you can take it, right? Or if, you know, the order is completed or canceled or if the cart's abandoned, you can use it for abandoned cart emails or subscriptions created or really there's so many things you can do, right? So for people that are out there that are looking for a no coding solution to customize the WooCommerce, you know, order confirmation emails or all the WooCommerce emails. I really would look at using Automate Woo so far. Um, just has someone that's customized them with like coding and overriding template files and 
it can get hairy and um, it also even though I have pride that I do it like that it doesn't always make it easier when you know you pass the site off to the client to make these updates so that's why I really I, I would really recommend automate Move. I use it on our own site this is just a testing site but our own site um, and yeah that's all I have today guys and girls if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up click that like button it really helps out YouTube's algorithm and with that yeah have a great rest of your day and leave a comment below if you got value out of this video because I have been lacking posting videos and I'm trying to get back on it so this might not be as technical as my other videos in terms of like transitions and stuff but if you got some value out of this video smash that like smash that subscribe button and I will see you next time have a good day guys see ya